us online, we thank you for joining us tonight and just want you to invite you into our home and pray wherever you're at that God just touches you and meets your need, whether it's physical, whether it's spiritual, or whether you just need somebody just to walk beside you and tell you that we love you. We love God and we love you. Amen. Aren't you glad to be in the house of the Lord? Amen. Amen. I am. Uh, in fact, today somebody posted it and I said, I said, there's no place I'd rather be than the house of God, worshiping God with God's brother. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I understand what God said, don't forsake the assembly yourself together. I know what he was talking about. It was not to beat us up or, or to put a commandment, but it was about what would happen in us if we came together and we began to walk together in a power of agreement. Amen. How many people to agree and love one another? There's nothing that's impossible. Amen. So we're very thankful for everybody's here. And, and uh, I just want to say, you know, we, we had this Sunday, we gave out food. We didn't have any meat. On Friday, we couldn't do our pickups. And uh, uh, we had to stay because I was out of town and Sonny was by himself. So we ended up basically not being able to do our food pickups. So we asked him to hold it till Monday. So we didn't have any meat for Sunday to give away. And we're going into Tuesday and I had no meat coming in. And they went and did the runs at the different Walmarts. And the Walmart over in Hillsdale gave us one pallet of meat. <laughs> I'm serious, 2,000 pounds of meat. Uh, at, just, at just the price of uh, donation price that they allow you to have on meat is $2.50 that you're allowed to give credit to somebody per pound on meat. That's $5,000 in meat. But that doesn't even compare because a lot of them were roast steaks. I mean, I know you gone bought a uh, bought a pack big package of, of uh, ribeye steaks or T-bone steaks. That, there's a lot of money on that, fifteen twenty dollars. So when you have a whole pallet of that, it's such a blessing to be able to give that to people and be a blessing. Amen. So I'm gonna thank you for your prayers and thank God for His faithfulness. Amen. Amen. Come on, thank God for His faithfulness. God, you are faithful are faithful. Amen. So I just want to thank you for being here. If I can get everybody to stand on their feet, we'll come to the power of agreement and open this service tonight. I'm really excited about tonight and what God's going to do. I believe I have a message right off the print, right off the, what do they call it, the, the print or what, not the, the, uh, the printer, <laughs> whatever, right off the press, right off the press. Amen. So I just feel like God's got a word for us in this season. Amen, and it has to do with transformation. Amen. How about ready for transformation? Amen. You know, someday the trump is going to sound, and the dead in Christ are going to be raised up, and then all of us, in the twinkling of an eye, we are going to meet God, and we are going to be transformed into a new creature in Christ Jesus. Amen. It's going to happen that fast. Amen. That fast. All and every eye is going to see, and every knee is going to bow and confess to Jesus Christ as Lord. Amen. Father, we're so thankful to be in the house of God tonight. We ask you to just saturate this place with your glory, your presence. As the praises go up, God, we know the glory comes down. You said, if my people that are called by my name will humble themselves, God, if we'll come before you asking and believing and turning from our wicked ways, God, then you will hear. Let your eyes be upon this place. God, let us be molded and shaped by you tonight through the hearing of your word. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for our salvation. We thank you for the ministry you've given us to preach this gospel in all the world. In Jesus' mighty name, we all said amen and amen.
Oh 
miracles of miracles. Count your miracles.